Andrew, congratulations. Thank you. Um, Pride was a, a, a film that is a true story, but a lot of people will think, I, d I just don't believe this happened. Yes. Um, what does it mean to you to have won this and, and for, you know, for all the people who, who were involved in that true story? Um, well, they said that, that their great fear was that this story would go, would go to the, their graves um, with them, you know. Um, and so the fact that the story is now out, that everybody sort of no, knows about it. So when somebody says that certain factions of the community can't get on with other factions of the community or where there's uh, fear mongering, which there is a lot of uh, these days, there is a, a genuinely true story and everything in Pride is true. Um, uh, that people can say, no, actually look at these people and, and, and this is a true story. Um, so f the fact that the story is out there, but the fact that it's such a beautifully made film, um, uh, it, it's, just a, it's just a bonus. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever think you'd be going from um, one show where everyone's dying to know from you what's going to happen next? to another film where everyone will be hounding you for the next year <laughs> to want to know what's going to happen I know. next and, I know, and I know, what can I, fans expect <laughs> I, know, I know how to pick them don't I well I suppose in a, in a way in a way actually um, it's quite good because I'm quite used to keeping the secrets it's just become you just get, learn how to nod and smile um so uh, no, it's great. It's great fun. It's great fun, and um, that's part of the fun. I always think it would be so weird if you um, if you started giving plots away. People would just be like a gas. You'd just ruin it for everybody. Um, uh, but uh, so I just I just keep stum. But how much would you actually like to turn around? And everyone's thinking Christoph Waltz is going to be blowfold. How much would you like to turn around at the end of the day and you be the buddy? Ha ha! You all thought it was Christoph. <laughs> well, I've read the script, so that's completely uh, speculative that question. <laughs> <laughs> How much research did you do for the project? For which project? Uh, sorry, for uh, Pride. Pride, sorry. Uh, I did, uh, the, the film was really well researched by um, um, Matthew and Stephen. Uh, it was really authentic right at the beginning. I'm not a big guy for research actually, I, not because I'm lazy, <laughs> but I like to keep it sort of instinctive and I think it's the actors, you know, it's your pri your, your priority is to, is to deliver the script as it is and to deliver the character. So I like to keep it sort of playful and, um, you know, on the day. Uh, uh, and so I do a lot of work and I read the script loads of times and then you just see what happens in the actor's eyes because you can't really prepare until you know what the other actors are going to do. So that was my main preparation and the idea that we would all get on together as a film about community so that we would all get on together as actors we couldn't all just be um, disappearing off to our traders and ringing our agents in between scenes so there was none of that no none of that none of that Do you know what, in a way, you never really know what way the film is going to be, but I have to say with this, the script was so good, we had a read through the film and there were kids in the film that was there, they were 18 and they were um, legends of the British screen and everybody was, and Matthew played the score, such a beautiful score and music in the movie, and everybody was totally devastated by it and we sort of knew that if, if, there, if, if you were a man or a woman or black or white or gay or straight, it was a film about solidarity and, and the idea of being kind to each other and that just gets people and about family and the idea that we're, we're told so often that we're different to each other and actually people like to be good to each other and I think that's um, the reason that we kind of thought if people if people can find out about the film and that's why these words are really good it just means that more people can go and um, watch it uh, then if they can actually get access to the film then, then I think they're definitely going to respond to it and we've discovered that people up and down the country are clapping at the end of the film and um, in little cinemas all across the world uh, all across the country so that's really amazing and it's out on DVD on the 23rd of December so they can watch it on their on their on their on their DVD as well thanks guys Thank